Hello, welcome to my channel Small Optics. My name is Jason and in this video we're going to be looking at cleaning mirrors. Now, I can't stress enough that the cleaning mirrors must only be ever done if absolutely necessary. Okay, I mean your mirrors are really have to have had to have accumulated quite a bit of dirt for them to actually go through this process. But if you have owned uh, a Newtonian type telescope like this for any length of time, or maybe you've bought, you, you, you're planning on buying one, or bought one second hand, like I did with this one. Well, the, the mirrors needed cleaning, okay? It was as simple as that. So, before, before we go any further, I just want to say uh, this is purely for educational purposes, alright? I'm not going to be uh, covering the process of removing the mirror and, 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 and all that because I'm assuming that you already know how to do that. You can find instructional videos here on YouTube on doing that. Now, I won't be taking my mirror out because like I say, they only need cleaning if absolute necessary. So I'm going to be actually using a prop mirror, okay? Uh, and don't worry, this ain't a cop out. Um, it's the method of how you actually clean the mirror that's important, all right, not the mirror itself. Without further ado, let's get into what you're going to need to clean your mirror. Okay, these are the things you're going to need to clean your telescope mirror. First off, a few, um, one or two clean towels, okay, make sure that the nice clean towels, you're going to hear that word quite a lot, clean, everything's got to be <laughs> clean, okay, before you even start thinking about cleaning your mirror. Uh, the other thing is something to clean the mirror in. Now, I'm going to be using this plastic bowl here. Now, this is a little bit too small for, um, in our case, this mirror here. Ideally, it wants to be at least uh, twice the size of your mirror, okay? Now, if you're going to be using this in the uh, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, whatever, uh, again, lay some towels first in the sink uh, or the bowl to uh, rest your mirror onto that. Uh, this will help with two things, it will help to manoeuvre it in the bowl to help with uh, cleaning it and it will also help to protect it obviously. Um, apart from the bowl you're also going to need some cotton balls okay, or cotton wadding, it, it doesn't matter really but what does matter is that it's 100% cotton Okay, we don't want no synthetics here. Uh, synthetics are bad to what for, for optics. Okay, so 100% cotton balls, and you're going to need quite a few of these. Okay, probably more than what I'm showing here. Uh, the other thing is ordinary washing detergent. Okay, or washing up liquid, as we call it here in the UK. Any washing detergent, the stuff that you wash your dishes with, any will do. Okay, and the final thing that you're going to need is some distilled water. Uh, now you can pick this up pretty much anywhere these days. Uh, a quick search online and you'll get it online. But that's important for, uh, we're going to be rinsing the mirror. That's the final process that we're going to be using this for and you will need some distilled water. Okay, don't think you can skip any steps in this process. Now before we actually get into the actual cleaning method, um, it's important that you remove any rings, any jewellery, watches, bracelets of any kind, okay? Um, even a sharp fingernail um, going across a mirror surface or a telescope mirror surface will actually damage you or, or likely to damage your surface, okay? So just make sure your hands are nice and clean, all right? No oils or anything on your hands. And if you've done all these things, you're all set to go. Okay, the first thing to do is get a towel, uh, a nice clean towel, and put it in the container that you're going to be washing your mirror. Okay, and then you just want to pour some water. Now, the temperature of the water wants to be about lukewarm. Okay, you don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. Uh, baby bath water temperature, if you like, is fine. Okay, so we fill it up. Now, don't go mad with this, we only want to coat, coat really to coat the uh, surface of the mirror, just like that. Important thing I nearly forgot to mention, before you do any cleaning as well, make sure that you give your your dirty mirror a good uh, squirt of air, 
okay? Now, you, you can even get away with giving it a bit of a blow at this stage because we are going to be cleaning it. And just make sure there's no heavy deposits on there. Okay, now after you've given it a good blow, drop your, gently drop your mirror and just let the... Um, now, I'm, I did that wrong, actually. I, I actually pressed it in because I'm using a prop mirror. Try and avoid putting any pressure at all on your mirror, okay, or touching it with your fingers, okay, so If it's not quite enough, just pour a little bit more water in, all right, now that's enough now This is where your detergent comes in, all right, you only want two to three drops, no more All right, we're not washing the dishes here, just just to one side like that just just a few drops of detergent, okay, and we're going to just get that mixed in with the water. All right, again, trying to avoid, I am not touching the mirror surface at this point. I mean, it's probably advisable to maybe put the detergent into the water first. I probably should have done that, really. Like I say, I, uh, I'm probably a little bit out of practice of doing this because, like I say, you should only ever need to do it maybe once every two years. Okay. And that'll be enough. Now the first thing you need to do is just gently move the mirror about in the water, just like this, okay? Again, avoid touching the surface at all times. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to wash off any heavy deposits that may be on the surface. Now this part's important, okay? This is where we're going to introduce the cotton balls, all right? Now, first off, just make sure that the cotton ball's nicely soaked with water okay and it's got some a little bit of weight to it from the water and that weight that from the saturated cotton ball is the weight we are going to put onto the mirror surface okay we're going to put no more weight than the weight of the saturated cotton ball it's so important all right now just drop that onto one side of your mirror like that Okay, I might need to just lift this out of the water just to demonstrate this so you, the camera's picking it, picking it up better. Obviously, your mirror will be submerged under water like this. Now, the technique to this is to just grab a part of the cotton ball, okay, and just gently, just like this, just with the weight of the saturated cotton ball, move it across the mirror's surface. Now, when you've done about that much, maybe a quarter of the mirror, well, less than a quarter of a mirror really. Get rid of this, throw this one away, okay? Um, this is why you're gonna need quite a few of these. And the reason why we do this is because if you are picking up any greases or of any kind, you're not gonna be dragging it across the rest of the mirror surface, all right? And always remember to try and hold your mirror where you're not gonna be touching it, but obviously yours is gonna be submerged in the water like that. And we're just going to be just doing that technique. So again, this is the technique. All right, it's not difficult, but it's so important that you put no pressure on. For goodness sake, don't start doing this. All right, if you see a, a stubborn little mark, and you know you don't start doing that, putting pressure on, you will damage your mirror. Okay, this is why it's so important, and you've just, just got to be so gentle. All right. So keep repeating this process like this, so eventually, and keep changing the cotton for a nice fresh cotton bud, okay, cotton bud, sorry, a cotton ball. Um, and just keep doing this method, okay, of just dragging the weight of the cotton ball across the surface of the mirror until the entire mirror is done. Okay, so, after we've um, cleaned it with our cotton balls, all right, this is virtually done now, your mirror's clean. But now we need to get rid of any soap residue left behind, and this is where our distilled water comes in, okay? And all you want to do now, again, make sure you've got a good firm grip on the mirror. You can even lay a few towels in a sink or something like that and lay the mirror up, okay? It's so important that this is safe at all times. And then just give it a good rinse with distilled water. All right. Now, once you've rinsed your mirror off uh, with your distilled water, don't, whatever you do, uh, dry it. You know, start putting tissues on it or, or anything like that. 
the, the way to dry the mirror now is to simply leave it. Uh, what I do is I'll, I'll find a wall. I'll use uh, I'll use this jug as a <laughs> as a wall. Imagine yeah, imagine this jugs jugs the wall like that, and I lay a few towels in, and then lay or place the mirror, okay, somewhere out of kids reach, out of pets reach, out of curiosities reach, wherever, and just leave it to dry, okay, just let it naturally dry like this. Now you can, if you're in some particular rush, you can, if you want, just. Uh, don't let that happen. <laughs> Obviously, that wouldn't happen uh, on a on a wall. But you can you see you'll see little droplets, and you can just dab them very very gently, just to soak up a few droplets, or use tissue paper. And you can even use an air dryer on cool setting, just to speed up the process. But my advice is, let nature take its course and let it just dry naturally. That's about as much as I can show you for cleaning the actual mirror. Like I say, it's not difficult, it's just being extremely careful, okay? Um, I mean, once, you, once your mirror's dry now, you can place it back in. I uh, forgot to mention, this is exactly the same way you would do for your secondary mirror too, all right? Exactly the same process. Just keep remembering to, to use fresh cotton balls all the time, all right? And, and just take your time and there's not a lot can go wrong as long as you just follow these instructions to the tip. Perhaps look for this one. Uh, please just leave me a message in the comments if you've got any questions on this, you know, if there's any anything you may think I've missed, just I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Um, and, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, there's be plenty more hints, tips, tricks coming up very, very soon. But in the meantime, happy stargazing all, and I will hopefully see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.